Hi everybody, this is Mr Duncan in England. How are you today? Are you okay? I hope so. Are you happy? I hope so. In this lesson we will take a look at two negative parts of our lives which can occur at any moment, both of which have the ability to cause us varying degrees of misery, upset and even sickness. In today's lesson we will take a look at stress and worry. Life these days seems to be getting more hectic. I don't think I can handle this. It all seems too much for me. What will I do? How will I cope? So many problems. It's all too much for me. I can't take this pressure any longer. I need a break. Make it all go away. Please. The word stress relates to the physical or emotional pressure we feel every day of our lives. Although, for most of us, the stress is bearable. However, there may be times when you feel as if you are under too much pressure from your daily life. This is when stress becomes a problem. You have many things on your mind and you constantly worry about them. The stress can be both physical and mental. Prolonged stress can lead to ill health, both physically and mentally. The most common side effect of stress is anxiety. Too much stress over a long period of time can lead to physical and psychological problems. The word worry means to continually think about something over and over again. Something concerns you. There is something on your mind which is making you unhappy. Worry is a negative feeling and it can make you feel miserable for a long period of time. The things we worry about vary. Maybe you are unhappy at work or perhaps you are afraid of losing your job. Maybe there is a problem with a relationship. Perhaps you are worried about where your life is going. The biggest worry is that of survival, which leads us to the most common worry of all, money. There are many times during the day when you may become stressed and feel tense. You may be in a hurry to get somewhere. You could be late for an appointment. You may have just missed your bus or your car may have broken down. The bad attitude or behaviour of another person can wind you up. All of these things are likely to make you feel frustrated and annoyed. Stress comes from the anger you feel and the anger comes from your stress. In other words, they feed each other.
There are some key words connected to stress and worry. Anxiety. You feel anxious and constantly worried, sometimes for no reason. Nervous. To feel worried and on edge. You may show this feeling by constantly moving about and fidgeting. A nervous person may chew their fingernails or talk and chat continuously, or they may do the opposite and stay still and silent. They may sweat and look anxious. Nervousness is commonly felt just before an important task, such as sitting an exam or giving a performance. Ask any person living in a city what causes them the most stress during an average day and they will most likely reply with driving my car. There is something paradoxical about the way in which we need a car to live, yet we find it such a burden both mentally and financially. As our lives become more hectic we are finding that we need to get to places much quicker which causes stress which causes us to become more irritable. Have you ever lost your temper and become angry whilst driving? We call this negative feeling road rage. One of the biggest causes of stress is work. These days it seems as if our lives are controlled and dominated by our jobs more than ever. 
Some people blame the computer for this problem, as we can now take our work home with us more easily thanks to the laptop computer. Mobile phones mean that our supervisors and managers can contact us anywhere at any time. It would be fair to say that these days our free time is even more precious than it ever was before. If you suffer too much stress and worry over a long period of time, then your health may begin to suffer. Your mind may be affected to such a degree that your way of thinking and behaving becomes erratic and disorganised. You may begin to suffer from insomnia, which means that you will find it difficult to get to sleep. A doctor may prescribe you medicine, or you may wish to talk to a professional counsellor who will listen to your worries and help guide you through the difficulties you are experiencing. Believe it or not, talking to someone about your worries can be a great help indeed. So, how do we deal with stress and, more importantly, how do we prevent ourselves from getting stressed? Well, it is of course better to avoid becoming stressed in the first place. Try to give yourself plenty of time before setting off on a journey. It is better to seek out the reason for your stress rather than to simply blame everything. Some people find it helpful to talk to another person in private about their worries and concerns. Taking regular rest breaks from work is very important. Some people use relaxation exercises to ease their stress, such as meditation. The important thing is to avoid keeping hold of your stress and bottling it up inside, because one day you may explode. Emotionally, that is. That is all from me for today. I hope this lesson has not caused you too much stress. May all your worries be small ones. Take care until we meet again. This is Mr Duncan in England saying thank you for watching me. And of course, ta-ta for now.